Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Pillars of Eternity 2. Where we left off last time we had just entered conversation with Wainglith. So she said, Accept the light and you shall be redeemed. A woman shouts, arms raised high and wide. In each hand she grips a golden candle. The flames gutter wildly as she gestures to the crowd before her. The missionary holds a candle to drip wax into the shape of three stars on the forehead of each kneeling worshipper. One of them stumbles back. Swiping the hot wax from his skin. I did not sign up to be burned. What do you think you're doing? Idling, that's what. Making ourselves feel all requited. Arms crossed over her chest, a shorter, darker skinned woman watches the ritual with an ornery sort of expression. Her delicate chin jutted up. We just missed one of the biggest rapins of all time. What about the souls that need us? As she steps forward, she reaches for a peculiar looking lantern strapped to her hip. Do not push me on this, you wayward child. You'd leave the living for Lorne to service the dead? Rather than discouraging the other Dawnstar, the accusation seems to kindle a stubbornness inside of her. Shoulders set, she grins. Here, I'll light them all at once. Metal clanking, she sways an eerily lit, eerily lit lantern in an intricate pattern before her. The priestess bites her lip, swinging harder and faster, leith arms hurling the weapon with a deceptively hidden strength until she thrusts it hard out towards the crowd, splattering everyone with wax. Wipe a glob of wax from my shoulder. Now that we're right with our god, can we please see about helping the people I dreamed died? Those souls ain't gonna reap themselves. Her words catch in her throat as she turns, spotting you for the first time. I'm guessing you're not here for the baptism. I'm looking for an Adra statue. Yeah, hi. Or yay, hi. Inhabited by Aeolus. I knew it! She clenches her grip on the sickle in her right hand. gon has been calling me here. Left the breadcrumbs in my dreams. I need to get inland. If you're going, I could help you. Swear on my soul. Who are you? Oh, hell. Now where are my manners? I'm Shodi, child of the Dawn Stars and priestess to Gon, at your service. She thrusts a hand out for a friendly shake. Idir nods in agreement. You're priestess of Guan, not Aethys. Gon is... An aspect of Aethys associated with death and harvests. His implements are symbolically important. The sickle reaps what is sowed in life, and the lantern guides the deceased down their intended paths of death and rebirth. It is generally believed that Gon, instead of Barras avatars, visits those who embrace death with acceptance and understanding. His most fervent devotees are known as Harvesters of Gon. Gon is an answerer of wrongs and imbalances. This has contributed no, smart, or no small part to Deerwa's enthusiasm for vigilante justice. Popular regard for Gon is polarizing. He is appreciated, feared, and characterized by a grim sense of finality. A dark smile curves up her lips, and her eyes glint with a fierceness. Darn right I am. Why, you know an awful lot about Gon? Gon is an aspect of Aethys. I think you mean he's all what's left. You did hear, Aethys died, yeah? When summer and spring have passed us on, well, that just leaves us autumn and winter and gone. Catchy. <laughs> you think I'm addled? A little touched in the head? Yes. She splits a bemused grin. Figure I'm a bit unorthodox. But that doesn't mean I'm wrong. More than unorthodox, it's profane. Why do you want to go inland? There are souls needing their last rites. I ought to shine them the light, else they might get lost. Enough nonsense, Choti. No one knows if anyone's even died. You've no business going in there, risking your own safety, risking our mission. Her name is pronounced Jyoti. Interesting. Wanglith, you guide the living and I guide the dead. Gone bids it and I dreamed it. Leave it be. We all serve our purposes. So what's yours? What do you think? Biting at her bottom lip, she looks you up and down. A pleased sound leaves her throat. I think I know what you are. Her brows raise in a sort of challenge. And here you are, following my god. Watcher, will you take me with you? Why not? Perhaps you'll prove useful in dealing with Aethys. I know an offer rare as hen's teeth when I hear it. Yeah, I'm taking it. She beams brightly. You won't regret this. Maybe. She steals a shy glance at Edir. Uh, hey. Edir half nods without looking in Jyoti's direction. He seems suddenly focused on something in the distance. Oh, there's a crush going on. A tad too eagerly, she saunters close beside you. At least take care, child. Come back to us in one piece. If not for my sake, then Sawin's. The older priestess sighs, shaking her head. So don't tell her. What the high priestess doesn't know won't hurt her. 
Greetings, Jyoti Waves, her brethren, a curt parting. So she can be a monk, or a priest, or a priest monk, which is also known as a contemplative. What do we want? This is a tough call. Monks are pretty damn good. Priests are also pretty damn good. And monk priests might be really good. But I think I want a straight up priest. And she is leveled up. Oh, it, already make level it automatically leveled her up for us. Okay, fair enough. What do we have for spells? Blessed Harvest. Restore. Interdiction. Which is a daze, apparently. Second level spells are Faith. And Holy Meditation. Which is a combat skill only. Alright. And we have Holy Radiance. Creates a field of holy energy around the priest, dealing burn damage and applying shaking to any vessels in the vicinity while regenerating a modest amount of health for allies. The power of the priest's holy radiance is modified by how well their reputations align with the preferred behaviors of their faith. Like a once a day thing or once an encounter thing? Oh well. Yeah, uh -huh. We'll have to find out, I guess. Hey. Also, can you set a stance? Alright, his current stance is cleaving stance, it's going to be defender stance. Yeah, we need a tank, out. so that's we where go. we're at. Also, we should check her equipment. Go away, thank you. Alright, she has a sickle called Joti Sickle. It gives deflection, apparently. And Soul Reaper, 5% sickle damage until combat ends on scoring a kill. Stacks four times. Increases with the religion skill. Wow. And her lantern gives plus one on monk resources per kill. She's not a monk. Plus two to all restoration power levels, plus two to all inspiration power levels, and plus one to enemies engaged. She is really good, actually. I should have made her a monk, too. Oh, well. An idiot, does he have any special items other than the stuff I gave him? Not really. I still don't know why this is an offhand only. That's well, one-handed now. It says it's one-handed. It doesn't say it has to be main-handed or off-handed. I just think they're being jerks. Okay. Uh -huh. A fair wind to you, too. Oh, we can't move. Or can we move? Oh, I hit a button. We have the console open. There we go. I was like, why can't we move? But that actually makes a whole lot of sense. Let's talk to Children Edir. The Dawn Stars. I wondered if we'd run into them down here. There's someone I used to know, just a, an old friend. Came out here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around, see if she's still out here. Might be she can help us. Just a friend, huh? Shoti rubs the back of her neck, clearly uncomfortable. How did you know her? Oh, uh, well, both grew up in Gilded Vale, same temple. Edir looks askance at you. You can trust me, you know. All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, you know. Bang. <laughs> she was real loud, too. Used to have to cover <laughs> her mouth or she'd get the dog howling in the next room. Awesome. Jyoti's face models bright red and she turns away, hands covering her eyes. You could have stopped a few sentences ago. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. You're gonna like her. I got a good feeling. Is the good feeling in your pants? Because if it is, that's not a feeling I want to have from you, sir. Not that you aren't a very pretty man, just... I think you're meant for Jyoti, who is kind of upset that you were banging some other chick in your past. Which is actually a red flag. Where are we going now? Okay, we can go to Goreshi Street. Goreki, Goreshi Street? Something like that. Or we can go to Satahuzi. Thank you, go away. I wonder what this is. We can leave town by sea or on foot so we can sail to places, which is neat. Or we're gonna go to the street. It'll take us one hour and nine minutes to get there. Not very far. As you make your way along the streets, or along through the side streets of Port Meishi, you come across a 
<laughs> you come upon visible traces of the storm's passing. Wow. Many of the houses here boast cracked knit window panes and sagging awnings, and you pass narrow streets strewn with foliage and debris. The cobblestones beneath your feet are still slick with water and silt. Before long, you are ankle deep in sucking mud and loose stones. The flooding only worsens up ahead, where the water level rises to the knees. Most of Port Mashi's residents have fled this region for dry land. But the murmur of raised voices ahead and the occasional splash suggests that you are not entirely alone. Oh, this place is grim looking. There's literally a corpse. Something must be wrong with my vision. No matter how much I blink, I, I cannot make out more than blurry lights in the darkness. But you, you are quite blinding. Follow along if you must, just don't speak. Ikara, I will follow. You are hard to lose sight of. The soul brushes up against you, too close for comfort. What? Oh, looters. That's a lot of looters. Uh, okay. So there's two there and two there. I guess we can find out if these are encounter powers or not. Actually, we can just look it up. You know what? It's fine. Once per encounter, right there. Once per encounter as well. Nah. Alright, you two are on that one. You're gonna go block these ones. Go away, tutorial things. I get the point. You're kind of irritating me now. Hmm. I don't really want to flames of devotion. Soul annihilation. Oh, come on. These guys hit really hard. I think we might have to reload. I know how to do this game. Thank you. I'm turning tutorials off. How do I do that? Game. Where is tutorials? Maybe next time it pops up I can hit like never show again. Let's just reload. Alright. We'll send Edir after those two down in the water. I wasn't expecting a fight, to be honest. I guess I should have been. And, okay, you're gonna go this way. You're going this way, and you're going this way. Go. The season of harvest is no prisoners. Okay, go fight. Jesus, they hit like trucks. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's gonna be just fine. Jesus. Parathus. We're dropping lock flies. What do you need? Rebirth. Right then. Maybe we're not quite ready for this area, although we should be. The guns hit for like 30 damage. That's a lot of our life. That's like half of our life from a single shot. Apparently it scales rather quickly. Alright, we'll just charge one group and then we'll charge the other. Down. I need that one dead. 
Um, use that. No <laughs> Next up Get is that one. You guys got that one. I'm gonna go up here and fight this one. Or miss entirely. Next one. It's much easier when we get a flank in. Alright, so splitting up your group is a terrible idea at this point in the game. Also, that guy shot like a... Just like a truck with his Archibus. Kind of impressive, actually. We'll take this guy along with us again. Alright, so now we know that looters are bad. Not that that was really surprising before, but... More so now. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. We looted that, right? There's another ghost up there. Nothing but endless grime yeast. This is not the afterlife I was promised. Turns out there's a lot about that they don't tell you. Hmm. You seem to know where you are going. Soul crosses ethereal arms over her chest. Watcher, you're talking to a lost soul, aren't you? I'll just shine them the light real quick. The lantern rattles as Yoti swings it overzealously between you, siphoning the spirit's essence. That's fine. Whatever. I don't care. Just one soul. I'll see it done. Oh, there's uh, Elari. Good thing he doesn't attack us right off the bat. Hi. Well, of course. Mm, no, I'm gonna put you guys what like this. And Edir will be like there. That's better. Not much cause to come out this way unless you're looking for trouble. Although you've found it. Ado means a valiant greeting. The young elf's hand drops to the pistol in his belt, palming the grip. The faintest hint of a sneer plays about his lips as he watches you unblinking. Savia sent me. She needs you to put a stop to the looting. Hilari snorts, his nose wrinkling. He regards you for a moment longer than... A moment longer in expectant silence. Then he throws back his head, letting out a braying, unpleasant laugh. <laughs> Merle, she must be desperate. Not so desperate as to come here, on her knees to beg for herself. But... She sent you. No. There's my answer. I get my cut. There's no sense in ruining a good thing. Well, I'll show you a cut. Valari brings up his pistol, lips curling back in a grimacing snarl. Kill them all. Killed him right off the bat. I guess we're not moving, so we're fighting right here. We missed. Come on, hit him. Thank you. It's kind of hard to see them there. Actually, let's try this out. Never mind, the fight's already over. I was gonna try out my new buff ability. Got a cloak of deflection and some loot, of course. Of course. And it looks like we won our fight. We're a long ways away from a level, so we'll have to deal with that later. Let's go back to Port <laughs> Port Magi Harbor on foot. Yes. Another hour five to get back, and we can hand in this quest. Maybe whoever's in the jail will join us. 
Why does it... Is it just when I do that? Yes, it is. Okay. Really quickly, let's see if we can fix that thing. Camera follow. No. Aim. No. You know what? I'll look at it later. I don't want it to refocus on my characters when I select a point to walk to. It's actually kind of annoying. I like how we have the same hit point as a priest. Hit points as a priest. That's not ideal. Keeping out of trouble? A little jest. What is it? Ilari is dead. He won't give you any more trouble. Madiko. I hoped Ilari might be of use. The people knew him, respected him. He would have been trouble in the end, but no need to have hurried that along. Well, here you are, for your time. <laughs> if I had ten men like you, the whole of Port Marge would be set right within the week. I did pretty good. And we got 2,000 experience for that. Split, of course, among three people, though. Well. Isn't all that much. It's 700 a person. But that's not correct either, either, is it? Because we only gained like 300 a person. I think we got less than what it told us we got. I guess we're off to another town then. Satahuzi. Three hours and three minutes to walk up there. That's fine. This town has 3,200 people in it. It does not look like a 3,200 population town, but perhaps it is. Well, this looks lovely, like a beach. This is not a town. Two buildings is not a town, by the way. I'm just throwing that out there. A mirror's winds blow sweet upon you. Mohika, that's who we need to talk to. The Amoa woman steps sideways, angling herself towards you, and meets your gaze with an intense stare. Outsiders of every sort. This is what the Valians have brought us. Her scarred brow wrinkles, and her frown deepens to a somber grimace. You were looking for Kawa? Rinko says that you robbed him during a card game. Rinko? She scoffs in a guttural burst of sound. The Valian? You jest, Akira. I should have thrown him into the sea. He dares to call me a thief? Why don't you tell me what really happened? What else? The Valians are fools. But Akawa wishes to trade, so we must be patient. We must save them from Nagati's storms. Even when they ignore our advice. Akawa told me I should see the tavern. Speak with their people. Learn patience. The traitor Aophania, she taught me to play Valian cards. A simple game. But none would play with me in the tavern. Not until Rinko. I thought him kind. Until I proved the victor, and he grew angry. Until he stood in front of his kin and called me a Mataru of Sadahuzi, A filthy islander and a cheat. For that? Yes, I beat him. Why does this concern you? You should have told the guards you've been bred at a thief. I am no thief. Do you mean to insult me? I am Mataru. I am the guard in Sadahuzi. I defend this village. If I see fit to punish a man, it is my duty. If a Valian broke one law, would you be satisfied with a fine levied by the governor? That, that is not the same. This has long been our island. Hmm. Let me talk to Rinko, I'll sort this Lend out. Lend your teeth on this if you like. If he was a man of sense, he would not be on his back. She makes a dismissive chopping gesture at the air and turns away. Tarugar, Storm Speaker Ikawa, Ikawa, oh my god. Oh, we shouldn't steal from the, ooh, who's Eophania? Fancy a look at the wares, my friend? Sure, what do you got? Best goods on the island. It's a shore walker sandals. Stride plus 20% and plus one resolve. Actually, those are pretty nice, all things considered. Look at the wares, my friend. Any chance you have something Mohika could, or Mokia would might like? You mean she likes things? I joke, I joke. <laughs> she is so serious. 
like the guards back in Potmage. So, I have this carving all the way from Neketaka. They churn them out easy. She won't know that. How much? Ah, uh, just take it. I have a hundred. Tell Mokeha she is getting better at cards. Did you see the fight between Rinko and Mokia? Did I see it? Best night of my life. She just... She jabs vaguely at the air, pretending to throw punches. And he was snuffed out like a candle, poor bastard. I assumed he was being his usual charming self. How he and the wife get on so well, I have no idea. Why do you ask? Do you know how it started? Not really. I saw the Juana woman bearing down on him, looking like trouble. They argued for a bit. His buddies were dragging him down the road not long after that. Okay, thanks. You're a bit out of the way, aren't you? Cozy spot, right? Not much competition apart from the basket lady. And the Hawana have coin to spend and goods to trade, same as the rest. Okay, bye. I guess we can talk to the leader, Ikawa. Seated upon a chair before the bonfire, Ikawa looks considerably more comfortable here in her home village. She prods absently at the coals with a long stick. Ikawa's lined face is pocked with fading scars, but there's no hostility in her calm appraisal as you approach. For many years, I've only ever seen one of your kind. And then... The Valians come, and many things change. They told me what became of your ship. I say again that you are lucky. It is the only ship that survives. I could protect Port Maje, or else its ships, but not both. Perhaps Clario thinks I chose poorly. It doesn't look like the storm did much damage here. To a storm speaker, the storm is a friend, gentled by a word. And Satahuzi is blessed with several storm speakers. We were able to shield the village from much of the weather. Some of it is mere luck. Most of our canoes were here by the shore. We did lose one of our voyagers. It will take some work to replace it. Did your people see the giant? Yes, one of the old titans, say the priests. Andra is angry. Though why, our priests do not know. I am only glad it has journeyed elsewhere. That giant is Aethys. I need to know where he's going. Aethys? Is it redemption you seek, then? You risk much to chase a god across the sea. The Dawn Stars too, wish to meet this god. What if he does not wish to be found? Can you help me free my ship? Yes, but it will take Clario's assistance. Convince him, and I will aid you. Why wait on his word? You are one of his people now. It falls on him to protect you. Okay, bye. Alright, so I guess we've done the things. I'm gonna talk to you. Kira outsider, you circle like a bird seeking scraps. What for do you trouble me? I found this carving. I thought you might like it in exchange for Rinko's coin purse. What? Where did you find this? She takes the carving from you, holding it with surprising care as she turns it over in her hands. What do you say? Huh. Then here is what you came for, though it is an uneven trade. She, cons or she considers the coin purse in her hand for a moment before handing it to you. Her mouth twists in a resentful frown. I will ask our chieftain to send a healer for that idiot Valian. Perhaps that will quiet his whimpering. I'm gonna go beat him up too. I might keep his... I wonder if I can keep his gold purse. To teach him a lesson. You must gather. Because I absolutely believe he was being a dick. He probably deserves everything he got. I just have a feeling, you know? We should also go loot some of the treasures now that we have one more mechanic skill. Actually, we might even have two mechanic skill. I don't actually know what she does. What does she do? She has survival, religion, history, diplomacy, arcana, alchemy, athletics. I'm gonna quick save before this just to see what kind of decisions we can make on his behalf. Most days I'd fire up the kettle for you or something. Sorry. I spoke to Mokia. She claims that she won fairly and you insulted her. 
A surprise! The brute speaks! And you have survived the conversation in one piece. Merla. Perhaps my tongue was loosened by drink. What of it? Is any man who insults the savage's pride you are beating? The law is on my side! Confess to Darmo or spend the rest of your sorry life eating nothing but soup. Rinko stares up at you, his eyes wide, his hands gripped tightly at the sheets. It is not enough that she has ruined me! Now you threaten me in my home. Please, for the sake of my son, I will tell the guards the truth. I swear it! I must hope that Clario's dogs will be more merciful than you. And I never claimed to be merciful. We're almost up another level again. Oh, so this is the total experience we get from the entire quest. This is what we get at one time. That actually makes sense. Okay. Interesting. We're at 31 minutes though, so we're going to call it here. In the next video, we're going to quickly run around to the places we visited before, see what we can loot, including the governor's estate where there's that one chest. And then we're going to continue on our way, see what we can do for quests. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.